for the website. And then I have to send out payments for the video shoot. Then I have to book Akbar's travel to get her back to LA. You guys know I can't focus, so I'm going to leave you now. But just know that I've been quiet because I've been working. We are two payments away from owning the masters to this new album. That is a big fucking deal. Big fucking deal. So I have been grinding. Got the business accounts open. Fucking the business PayPal, business Venmo, business Apple Pay. Business phone account. Like I had to go get business phones, business cards, trademark the logo. Uh, had to make sure everything was on the up and up with the food truck. I have so many launches coming up that I just was like, let me just make sure all my corporations and LLCs are up to date. Let me make sure that every entity has its own bank account underneath my corporation. So we had to tie all the LLCs to the corporation. So now they're all subsidiaries of the corp. They're all legally protected, liability, blanket, you know, I had to do blanket liability insurance, but then I had to do a different, I had to do like workers comp for the food truck. It was just so many different moving parts for the food truck that I didn't know existed beyond the permits for parking, obviously the insurance, obviously um, trademarking that logo and that name um, and the business account for that. I had no idea that I had to have like workman's comp and I had to have like HR in place and I had to have all this shit. Payroll. I mean, W9s. 1099s for the entertainment and production company. I mean, I'm doing call sheets. I'm coordinating with the design. I'm coordinating with the designer who's custom making the wardrobe. Um, I had to tie the clothing line LLC to the corporation as well. So here's how this is going to go. On the website, you will find a pre-sale link to the album. You will find separate tabs for everything. My event planning company, Slaughter Slays Event Planning. You'll find a, vid, a visuals tab that will have the music videos. You'll find a separate tab for wine and onesies where you'll get the, the web series. You'll find a tab for Pussy Power, which is my podcast. You'll find a tab for Plain Jane, which is the clothing line. You'll find a tab for music, which will have exclusive pre-sale links to the albums and singles. You'll have a photo gallery. You'll have a news bulletin. That will update you. You'll have the tab for the food truck, which will show you operating hours, locations where the truck will be parked, um, in addition to COVID protocol, uh, COVID safety and health protocols, COVID health and safety protocol for both patrons and employees. Um, there, you'll also be able to book the truck for private events. Um, I mean, it's just been so much work and I literally am doing this on my own, like literally on my own, just me, my lawyer and my accountant. But I mean, like, I don't have an assistant. I don't have a manager. I like, uh, it's crazy. So I'm proud of myself, though, for staying focused because you guys know I, like, get so overwhelmed and give up. So, I mean, every day I pray and I'm like, Lord, please. It's taken me more than a week to dump files from my computer to the hard drive. I still don't have any space, enough space on my computer to do what I need to do. 
I'm on my second two terabyte external hard drive. So that tells you how much fucking shit I had on there. Um, I just had to transfer like my utilities into my business name because I'm an independent contractor and technically I work from home. Um, I mean, we had to undo the last accountant's clusterfuck of fuckery with the taxes. So now all the taxes are in line. All the LLCs are up to date and in good standings. We have our certificate of good standings. I have to have an inspection by the health department on the food truck. Uh, A lot. A lot. So give me a couple more weeks and I'll be back. Um... I don't know if I'll work with Zeus. I've had a meeting with Lemmy, but I'm going to keep it a buck. I don't like the way they treat me. Um, I don't like the way Lemmy treats me at all. So I don't know if, and that was really disheartening because you've taken all of VH1's urban talent and you've pretty much created a whole new VH1. Everything is ratchet. Everything is, there's no, like, content of substance. I brought so many good ideas to the table. I had an idea for a lesbian dating show. They stole my idea and gave it to Saya. Um, And then I sat down with Lemmy. He was on his phone the entire meeting. Um, So... I just don't like, he, in, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to see a network f- by us, but I want that network to also be for us, and I feel like Lemmy has favorites, um, and I feel like if I'm not, which I told Lemmy, you know, I feel like If I'm not giving you the love and hip hop version of myself, you don't even want to work with me. Everything is, he funnels me back into the ratchet realm of everything. So, not SZA, Saya. Um, So, to me, it's just recreating VH1 with less money. I have so much great content, but like the fact that you flat out stole my show and gave it to Saya didn't sit well with me. The fact that you text me, Lemmy will text me, hey, let's meet, hey, and then ghost me for months at a time. Um, But then when he wanted me to sit down and have the conversation, it was all just innuendos that he wanted me to be the love and hip hop version of myself. And I was like... I can't do that for you. I can't do that because I didn't even want to do it on Love and Hip Hop. I left. Like, my whole goal was to get away from that type of content. So, if you're going to insist that, you know, his exact words were, we need the Moniece that everyone loves and adores. Well, the Moniece that everyone loves and adores is not a fucking animal. I am not... I don't. I don't walk around looking for problems. I don't walk around looking for con like conflict. I don't, I'm not a shit starter. I don't stir the pot. Like in real life, I mind my business. Like that version that people got of me on love and hip hop, they got because I was miserable. So if I'm free now, why put myself back in another scenario where, and when I tell you I had so much anxiety around it, I mean, like to the fullest. And then the chick that I was supposed to do the conversation with backed out. And I was like, thank God. Thank God. So I don't know. I'm not opposed to working with Lemmy, but there needs to be a conversation. He needs to rectify taking my show idea and giving it to Saya. He needs to be attentive and present when speaking to me in my sitting in my face don't treat me like i'm some random bitch off the street that you saw in a street fight and was like oh she might be good for tv don't do that my time is just as valuable as your time so don't 
consume my time and then waste it or or be dismissive